next session on python programming so today we'll see from where to get this uh, python interpreter so you have to visit in the previous uh, session i have given this url to you that is python.org slash downloads using which you can download from where you can download your code so this is the url and here this one option is there download python 3.12 so as i said the recent version of python is 12 so download this latest version of the python so this one you have to download python 3.12 so here is the option of python 3.12 so you can download it download and install just double click on the so here you will get that option you have downloaded this python 3.12 i have already installed so you will get the option of uh, install so just click on that install you can able to see the uh, installation steps and you complete the installation next uh, application we need is the vs code so just visit this particular site code.visualstudio.com slash downloads from where you can able to download the vs code so download uh, so we are here i have used the windows operating system so i have used the download option for windows so download your application from the windows uh, option so just again double click on your application this vs code so again i have already downloaded it so just follow the steps and you can able to download the vs uh, sorry install the vs code on your machine now next is uh, next thing we have seen is how we can get the code uh, extension first we see how to install the extension so they, this is the option of extension from where you can execute uh, install the extension that are required so first extension we need is the python extension so this is the python extension python microsoft so this is important microsoft intellisense so just here i have already installed it so here you will see the option of install just click on that install and you are you can able to install this python extension one more thing is required that is code runner this code runner option so just click on it so here you can able to see this code runner so if you install this code runner you can able to see this particular icon on your uh, vs code so this triangle option so this triangle option is you will get after adding this code runner extension so these two extensions you need to add now we'll see how to create the files in the python program uh, in this vs code so just click on the vs uh, file menu click on the new file here here you will see two options text file and python file just click on the python file and write the code so i'll just write a simple statement that is print hello world and save this particular file using the python extension so i'll save this file so save this file hello file using python extension either you can give dot file extension or the save file type is already given as python so no need to explicitly specify the dot py you can able to save your file to run your code just go to the terminals in view option you will see that there is a terminal option so open that terminal here you will see that your terminal has been opened 
so just type python space your file name so hello dot py so python space file name so here, here you can see that whatever the information you have or the instruction you have written in your program that is just print hello world so the same statement has been written on your command prompt so this is the one way to execute your code in vs code so open the terminal type the command that is python space your file name so i have said my file using hello.py so give your file name and then see the result and second way to execute your code in vs code that is uh, we have installed the code runner and python extension so just click on this button so this one triangle option so just click on that you can able to see the result so here you can see that your code is executed and your result is printed that is hello world is printed on your command prompt so in using these two ways you can run your code in the python program using vs code now we'll see the further part of this python code python programming that is basics of python programming so first is python keywords so what is a keyword so keywords are the predefined reserved words used in the python programming language that have a special meaning so these are the reserved words in the python programming language and every word has a special meaning so all the keywords except the true false and none all are in lower case and they must be written as they are means for example if you consider the for so for is used to uh, create a loop in the python programming language so for you have to write in f o r in all small case so you you cannot use that particular for to as a function name as a variable name in the python so these python keywords are the reserved words and every python keyword has a special name special meaning and all are written in lower case except this true false that is boolean true false and none these three have the first letter as the capital letter then next is python identifier python identifiers are the name given to the entities that we used in our python programming entities like the variable name class name function name or method name <coughs> etc for this the name given to any entity in the python programming language is then is an identifier for example language equals to python so language is a variable so we can say that language is an identifier which has the python which to which the python value is assigned so any variable any class name any method name which you use in the python programming is an identifier so there are some rules defined to uh, define the variables or classes or any identifier so identifier cannot be a keyword first rule is identifier cannot be a keyword because all the keywords are reserved every keyword has a different meaning so if you use it so that will not be allowed in the python programming language name identifier name should be other than the keywords then identifiers are case sensitives means if you write so in above we have written that is language so all are the small case letters so if you write all the all the letters in that language word in capitals that will be considered as a separate variable not the same variable so it is a case sensitive lower case and upper case are different variable names it can have a sequence of letters digits and underscore so the whatever the identifier name is there that identifier name must contain only letters digits and underscores and it is convenient that to start the identifier name with the 
letter or underscore. We cannot start with the uh, digit. We cannot start with special symbol any at the rate hash dollar using which we cannot create the uh, or we cannot use those symbols in the Python identifier as well as we cannot start with the Python identi identifier with any digit or any special symbol. So it should start with either underscore or letter. The white spaces are not allowed in the identifier name. So the identifier should be if you want to suppose you want to define a variable that is first name. So you cannot write that first name variable as first space name. So that is not allowed in the Python. So either you can separate it through underscore or you can use as a single word first name as a single word or first underscore name so that is allowed but white space is not allowed in the identifier as well as we cannot use any other special symbols in the identifier name so dollar at the rate hash or dot slash these special symbols are not allowed in the identifier name so these are the rules to define the identifier name then these are some examples of valid identifiers and invalid identifiers so score and invalid is at the rate we as we have seen that our variable name or identifier name should start with the letter or underscore not with the special symbol so here you can see that identifier name should not start with the at the rate symbol then return underscore variable value is the valid name but return is a ident keyword in the python so we cannot use written as the identifier name that is invalid highest underscore score is the valid identifier but highest space score is not valid the name one is the valid because it name identifier name should be combination of letter digit and underscore but one name is not a valid because variable name should not start with digit then convert underscore to underscore string is a valid but convert space to underscore string because spaces are not allowed so this is invalid in the python the next is how we can give comments in the python so we either we can give comment is basically nothing but a that is used to make our code more understandable and comments are completely ignored by the interpreter that are not executed at all by the interpreter all are the ignored statements so for the understandable understanding purpose we add the comments so in this particular given code it is written that declare and initialize two variable so by seeing that we can able to understand that below two are the variables which are initialized with some values so num1 and num2 have assigned two values 6 and 9 and after that we have one statement that is print the output so the following statement after that comment is the which will print the output on the screen so the comments and the any programming language comments are used to give hint or to make your program more understandable we use the comments and those comments are ignored by your interpreter so single there are two types of comments single line comment and multi line comment single line comments are given by or that are available or that are a single statement in your code that is given by hash symbol so single line comment is given by hash symbol so here you can see that the statement that is declare and initialize the variable so this is a single line comment that is ignored by the interpreter and immediately after that x equals to 10 y equals to 20 so whatever the result is there that will result will be printed after the print x plus y statement so remaining things are not printed so here these x and y values we have initialized and hash the statement start with hash is the comment that is a single line comment 
नेक्स्ट इज द मल्टी लाइन कमेंट वी कैन यूज अ हैश बिफोर एवरी लाइन ऑन द स्टेटमेंट दैट कैन बी कंसिडर्ड एज अ मल्टी लाइन कमेंट और इफ यू स्टार्ट योर स्टेटमेंट विथ थ्री कोड्स थ्री आइदर सिंगल कोड्स और डबल कोड्स एंड एंड विथ ऑल्सो थ्री सिंगल कोड्स और डबल कोड्स दैट इज कंसिडर्ड एज अ मल्टी लाइन कमेंट सो इन द सेकेंड विंडो यू विल सी दैट this is a multi line comment python is a wonderful language which is created and supported by some wonderful people across the globe so all these lines are written on separate lines in your python console or interpreter and that is start with three single quotes and ends with three single quotes so this is a multi line comments either you can use hash on every line or start your comment line with three single quotes and whatever whichever is your end line is there and that end line should ends with the three single quotes using this you can give the multi line comment then what is statement in the python so statement is a line of code that performs some action okay so in this example we have it is given that print name so print name is a statement and the python okay which prints the name value on the screen so name equals to sam this is also the statement in the python this name equals to sam is the statement in the python as well as this print name is the statement in the python so any line of code on your uh, or which performs some action is a statement in the python and one more thing is there that is expression in the python so expression is the evaluated or expression is evaluated for any result so here you can see that x equal to 10 value we have assigned that is the statement and immediately after that x equal to x plus 3 that is also a statement because it performs the action it is assigning x plus 3 value to x again but that x plus 3 is an expression so which evaluates some results so expression is the part of statement which evaluates the result so statement is the line of code which performs some action and expression which evaluates some result that is a expression so these are the two terms used in the python that is statement is the line of code and expression is the part of statement which evaluates the result then we can have multi line statements this one is a single line statement in python we can also have multi line statement in python multi line statement <coughs> are the statements that we can write on multiple lines but if uh, every most of the times every statement when we end our code means name equals to sam when we write it at this that uh, end of your single quote means the end of that statement means not for every case in print statement print name so after that you have not written anything so that is the end of the statement x equal to 10 so after that you have not written anything so that is the end of the statement so so every line on your uh, code is considered as a separate statement but if you want to consider it as a multiple lines as a single statement or multi statement lines then either you can end every statement with this slash using this slash you can end it so every statement multi line statement should end with this slash so you can convert your single line into the multiple line then or you can enclose your statement inside the parenthesis then also you can make it as a multi line statement or you can enclose your data into the square brackets then you can make it as a uh, multi line statement or you can enclose it in curly brackets so either you can end your statement with slash you can make it as a multi line statement or you can enclose your data inside the round brackets or square brackets or curly brackets then you can 
peg your statements are the multi line statements so your work is to find out which one are the statements in this particular code and which one are the expressions in this particular code now next part is the python variable so variable is a name attached to a value which can be changed and is used later in the code so variable is a name given to a value so in your computer memory your values get stored so we cannot directly remember the address of the address of the data where it is stored so to directly getting the address what we have what the programmers or the designers have given that is a variable so we assign for every memory address the variable name is attached so that using that variable name we can easily retrieve the value which is stored into the computer's memory so the variable is a name given to your memory location and the value is associated with an variable so in the python there is no pre declaration of the variable is needed so whenever we want to use any variable we can directly assign the value to it there is no pre declaration is required then uh, pi value of a variable can be changed so values are not constants for any uh python variable we can change it at every time every point of time in our code so as we have studied that python is a dynamic typed programming language so we can assign any kind of value to the variable then this is the difference between the python and the c programming variable so in c programming we have to declare the first variable so data type variable name and assign the value so pre declaration is required but that is not the case for the python as well as uh, as we have declared here in c program the variable name as integer which will not store the floating point value later on in your program but that can be done in the python programming language you can assign any kind of value to a variable so python programming variables are dynamically typed and c programming are the statically typed now there are some rules as we have seen the rules to define the identifier same rules are there for the python variable declaration so variable name should should have a combination of letter in lower case or upper case or digits or underscore so it should be a combination of letters digits and underscore then the we can create a name that makes sense means for example or uh, to store the vowels values in the variable so we'll create a variable name as vowel instead of v so v will not make any sense what kind of value we are going to store into the variable so give a variable name which makes a sense so if you want next rule is if you want to create a variable name having two words then it should be separated with underscore or no space so it should not include the white space it should include the underscore or it should be a single word so python is a case sensitive programming language so this small num and this capital num are different variables then avoid the use of uh, keywords that is we cannot use keywords as a variable name or identifier name so don't use it so these are the some rules to define the variable next part is the constants in the python so basically there is no such term as a uh means formally we cannot define the constants as we have in c programming or in c++ program we have a const keyword to define the constants so constant is the these are the variables which the value which cannot be changed 
so so in C or C plus plus we have that const keyword using which we can declare any variable as a constant. Later on in your program you cannot change the value of it, but there is no such case in Python. So some we can use the constants in Python, but that in case of modules. So constants are usually declared and assigned in a module. So here some example has been given. So we have module is nothing but a a uh, separate part of code or we can create a module for uh, designing some application where some functionalities are written in one file so that functionalities we can uh, access in another file so that first file we have created is called as a module and directly the functionalities of it we can use it in another file so here we have created one file that is python program which stores only two values prior pi value and gravity value so most uh, the convention that is followed in python all the constants are declared in uppercase letters so all are the capital letters so pi equals to 3.4 in gravity equal to 9.8 so these const two constants we have declared in this uh, first file that is pi constant dot pi in second file we have just imported that file that is constant dot pi so import constant dot pi and directly we can use this constant dot pi and constant dot gravity that is declared in the constant file so in this way we can use the constants in the python directly we cannot predict that in any program one value is defined as a constant value there is no formal keyword to define the constants in the python but we can uh, declare it in module and those module values we cannot change directly so this can be considered as a constants so these are the basic terms that we have learned today thank you